Hello, uh, James Dunlop. Um, <laughs> thank you for agreeing to do this course for us. Uh, survival, <laughs> well, I, I, I know it's survival weekend, um, but you've, you've um, decided to do this, this teach this weekend where we learn how to survive in the wild uh, and all the important things that we need to know. So what is your background? Um, so I had a short stint in the military. I was in the army for a short while. And then after that, I moved into the outdoor industry. Um, so, so the commercial outdoor industry, so climbing, kayaking, that kind of thing. Uh, and this kind of sort of goes hand in hand with that, but it was always something that I was very passionate about. And it's one of those subjects that you have to, you know, kind of sink your teeth into. So I spent a lot, lot, lot of money and a lot of time uh, learning, learning the skills uh, for myself. What, what made you interested in this? I don't know, I guess that's a good question. I just like the idea of being, I'm quite a romantic at heart, I suppose. So initially when I was a teenager and I'm getting into this, that romantic idea of being able to throw your rucksack on your back and disappear off into the wilderness and survive by yourself, um, it caught, caught my eye. Obviously now as I've grown and I've learned more about the subject, you know, I know now that that's just, it is a romantic idea, but um, it, it, that's probably where it grew from. Okay. Uh, it really, yeah, I suppose that's probably, the, in a nutshell, that's about it. How did you learn the hard lessons that you're going to be teaching us? Today? The hard way, unfortunately. A lot of them are, um, uh, are I learned the hard way. I've, I've made many accidents. I've cut myself many times doing silly stuff. Um, I remember a long, long time ago, I had learned the lesson about always having a torch on you at night time, the hard way, when I, uh, left it, left my tent in the dark and couldn't find my way back and had to spend a cold, horrible night curled up underneath a tree until I woke up the next morning and in the daylight realised that I was less than like 10 metres away from my tent. But those are the lessons that I learned. But now, now I've got the, I'm in a position where I can say to people, look, you know, don't, don't be the idiot that I was. Keep a torch on you at night time and those kind of things, if that makes sense, you know, as, as, a, a, as a, an example for that. So what are the main things we're going to learn uh, on this on this? Uh, so course? we're going to cover what I class as the big four. So that's food, fire, shelter, water. So being able to, or we're not going to look at any foraging this weekend, um, but knowing what kind of foods and, and, and calorie counting and things like that um, that you need to think about when in these environments. Um, fire, different methods of like starting fire from household objects and also things that you can buy and keep on yourself to be prepared. Um, so that's food, fire, shelter, so different modern shelter types. Um, I prefer modern shelter types, things like tents and tops. Uh, they, they are less damaging to our environment uh, when you're using them uh, as opposed to like kind of natural shelters. We don't have the wilderness spaces anymore that can really give us the resources to make natural shelters that are easily accessible. And then last one was water and just how to find water um, and how to process it to make sure that it's safe to be drunk. Because that one is a, that's a big killer, that one, if you can't find safe water and, or you drink bad water, you're going to be in a whole world of pain. Why is learning all this important at this stage, at this time, in uh, 2021? I don't think necessarily it's, it, it's not vital, don't get me wrong, it's, you know, you could probably make do and get by, but being, for, being, for, being forearmed is going to give you that edge, isn't it, you know, above other people in, in these skills. And also what I like about these skills is it, it gets you looking at the natural world a little bit better. And in, in a different way, sorry, would be a better way of looking at it. And learning that we have a symbiotic relationship with everything that's around us, the trees and, and, and the land around us, and that they, they have resources to give us, and we can take those resources, but we need to do that in a respectful way. So I think that's really where it comes out. If you look at it kind of from an ethos point of view, it's about, um, about understanding our environment and the, and the space around us. Did you see a little leaf that came on your... Yeah, did it. That, just, that was yeah. that perfect timing. <laughs> Thank you, perfect timing. There you go. Let's see the trees know. Yeah. Um, yeah. What, a, what is the most... Like, if you had to have a mantra about surviving in the wild, what would that mantra be? <laughs> um, I could go really corny and say, your knife is your life, um, which is always a good one. Um, survive a mantra for surviving the world. I think... Or, or like a notion that you have to, an idea that you need to keep in your mind to survive in the wild. Yeah, I think just cool, calm and collected. That's the way to do it, is to just not panic, take a moment, take a deep breath, okay, and, and assess the situation and, and realise that there are no rules. Um, just because you're not rubbing two sticks together to start your fire, 
does not mean that you're cheating. That's not cheating at all. You know, if you've got a lighter in your pocket, why would you spend the energy and the time to rub two sticks together to start a fire? You know, there's no rules here that we need to follow um, necess you know, within reason, of course. Jumping out of a tree is probably not the best idea we can start with, so that's a rule. But, you know, there's nothing wrong with taking what you know and adapting that knowledge in order to help and, and, and get by. Okay, well, thank you very much. I'm looking forward My to pleasure. this. My pleasure. Thank you. Bye-bye. Right, this is the first...